Hey guys, it's Queen Deidre, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 10 of season 4 of Overlords. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. My lovely dog. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! <laughs> No, no, it's important. <clears throat> You, yes, honestly.
Maybe so. Gotta be suspicious about everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey, that kid might kick your ass, so I wouldn't say anything. So, too late. <laughs> I mean, honestly, you have no time for whores, so... Wait. Okay, no, no. But he does look like what's her face. But she's dead. I'm a, <laughs> okay. Or I mean, you sure about that? Because something about you, I don't really trust, but okay. You gonna have clothes on though? I mean, you, yeah, you still got pants on, but you're gonna have a shirt on.
the fact that he's going into battle oh shit Because, of course, he just wants to talk first before we get started. <laughs> Me, no. <laughs> I mean, you know, we can just kill him in one blow. You know, we don't really have to listen to his bullshit, right? <sighs> exactly, you can't just go by yourself. But what if it's a trap? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, hey, isn't that all what we want in life? Sad and successful and everything else.
Of course. Hmm. Oh, I thought he'd be mad about that shit. So now what? <laughs> of course! Did you think something was gonna happen to him? Like, you know, Ainz is gonna poison his water or something? Yeah, it's not really that bad. But he has humanity to him. God, I'm about to have bloodshed in this damn tent. So are are we gonna hold on? Oh, it's his head! It's his head! You believe?
slow, a little painful. Tease it, let it ooze a little bit. I'm sorry. Like, bro, they all walking like, whoa, y'all right. Whoa, whoa, we okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my head hurts from laughing too much. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> to die. Woo. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, okay. Here's one thing I kind of want to talk about. Like, the episode was interesting, but maybe this is just me. And, I'm, mm, God, should I talk about this now or should I wait until the show is over? That's the thing. I mean, okay, I'll talk about it a little bit now and then I think more when we get to the end of it, that's probably when I'll go into more. Um, it, it, for some weird reason, like, this season feels kind of slow, or is it just me? It's still good. Do not get me wrong. Like, I love how we're getting so many different things and such. But when I'm looking at this, it, and I think mainly it's because of the fact is I'm so used to, like, binging this. Um, and then going into week after week, it's just like, oh my god, like, I'm just like, you know, <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, I gotta take, you know, slow pace, and shit like that. But I'm like, oh, okay. But, oh, uh, uh, excuse me. What's not thinking that that was gonna happen? Especially that he was gonna have, you know, his people revolt against him, against him, him getting killed, and then them sending his head to Ainz as a peace offering in a way, being like, yeah, you know, my allegiance is to you. I want to serve under you. Long live I da 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 da. And that, okay, hey, spare me, spare my family, spare everyone. But I is about to go ahead and it's like, you know what? Let's kill everybody. <laughs> and I thought Jinko and Ashima was bad. But, oh, I, I mean, okay, hold up. Because see, then at the same time, this isn't like, okay, here's my one thing. And, and let's go back a couple episodes. The, the, oh my God, Philip, where the freak is he? Like, is he still in the kingdom chilling the fuck out, waiting until he possibly, quote unquote, gets killed? Or did he, like, did he get killed off screen? If he got killed off screen, that's a little messed up because honestly, I would like to see that execution because he, he, he just an ass. I don't like him. <laughs> it's not the, it's not the Kirito thing. Because of course, everybody knows I like Kirito, but I'm like, I just don't like his character. He seems like an ass. So I'm like, you know what, maybe it's time to just go ahead and stabby stab him and make him have a nice little public execution. That's all. Like, yes, can we get that before the show ends for the season? I mean, but honestly, it's good. I feel like now, since the kingdom has no king, it is the princess now going to be a queen? And, and is she? Because remember, she's still technically on Team Ainz because her and Albedo talked. So what the heck is she going to do? Because, okay, this is also what I was expecting with, like, that situation. That behind the scenes, every any time when we would see her, she would have, like, an inner monologue moment where she's like, oh, this is what I'm doing when I'm automatically kind of agreeing with my brother or my father or this is that the third. We haven't really seen that. I mean, I was expecting her to go how she was, like, when I first, when, when I was first introduced to her. And then it's like, we're in this, and I'm like, okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
All right. I mean, but yeah, other than this, it was a good episode. Just want to know what the fuck happens next. And thank God it's almost Tuesday, right? But other than that, guys, that is where we actually be towards episode 10 of season 4 of Overlord. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys either on Tuesday or Wednesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.